Rotel RM5010, uh, made in July 76, I believe, according to the uh, markings, date markings. Uh, it's in fabulous condition, cosmetically. That's the uh, underneath of the uh, turntable and the cassette deck. As you can see, the, uh, the end caps are pretty fabulous. Oh, that nearly fell over. That's the uh, mechanism. Needs a couple of belts, quite straightforward. That's the uh, belt drive turntable. It's got a nice arm on it. That's gimbal there. And a speed control. Bearings very smooth. Match is good. Just needs um, a few of these capacitors changing. Uh, a couple of them look a little bit suspect. And it smells like a fish shop. Sure sign that the the caps aren't uh, in terribly good condition. Everything's accessible. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's not a major problem. Even dismantling it wasn't an arduous task. Uh, so quite straightforward. Got a couple of caps to uh, filter caps stick in there, reservoir caps. Yeah, beauty really. It uh, apart from a few tiny marks on the uh, rotary switch. Which is slightly loose, but I think that's probably uh, within the tolerances of when it was manufactured. Uh, functions perfectly fine. It's just sort of like a a slight movement there within the uh, the switch itself. I might uh, see if I can tighten it up. Shouldn't be too much of a problem as long as I can get access, which I think is going to be quite straightforward. So, uh, here we are. Uh, next job is going to be to uh, recap them <laughs> and any out of tolerance components that I'll need changing. Oh, something to do during lockdown. <laughs> <laughs>